Today is a moving day and we are making our way all the way from Mumbai city down to Goa in the south of India and we don't really know how today is going to go but we do know that we need to get moving because we have a long day ahead of us so let's get going. Something that never gets any easier is carrying your massive bags in a country that is intensely warm and today and especially here in Mumbai the heat is just next level. So warm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh wow! A full blown market! Oh my god, a full market man! It's in the class! Oh, stuff going on everywhere! Every which way! I would love to walk around and explore you a bit more of this market. We're staying very, very close to here, or we were. We've just checked out, and in this neighborhood, there's been nothing really happening apart from like kids out playing in the street and stuff. I know there's a full blown market, but we do have a train to catch, so let's go get it. It is a workout. Panfell? Panfell, yeah. Uh, no train available. No train available? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're going somewhere. I thought the day was off there. The disaster start there already. So basically, the long story short here is that we are... The long story short here is that we are making our way to Goa. But to get there, we have to get a lot of different trains. It's going to be a long journey. It could take literally anywhere from like eight hours to like 24 hours. We really don't know. We have no train tickets, no bus tickets. We tried getting them in advance and we were unable to. So today we were able, we were making our way from the station that we're at at the minute, which is Majdad Station in the south of Mumbai, to a different station called Pavel Station, which is like an hour and a half way outside of the city of Mumbai. And that's where our first disasters happened. The train that runs to it is actually running so I bought a ticket now to go to a different station and then from there we have to get another train to another station and then potentially another train to another station to get the to the Pavel station and from Pavel that is where we actually get the train the whole way to Goa so I really hope today works out but we're going somewhere that's the main thing all right, so we have just kind of analyzed our tickets a wee bit and done a wee bit of research on our phone and the train station that we have bought this ticket to is very, very close to the station we need to go to, to Pavel in order to get to Goa. So it's only about three stops away, we think. So this train journey should hopefully be about an hour long. Okay, so this isn't going too well, but basically we thought we were going to another station and the train pulled in here and it was the last stop. Everyone was like, you need to get off the train. Oh, that was loud. But we've got off the station here. We were gonna see if we can get another train to the station that we were supposed to be going to. And then a lovely guy came over and told us that we can get a train, possibly maybe, was his exact words, to the Panvel station that we need to go to. But he did tell us that it's a Sunday and a lot of the trains just don't work all the time on the Sunday. They do stop. So fingers crossed, there will be a train coming in like 10 to 15 minutes, possibly maybe. <laughs> So the train obviously didn't work out. Slight change of plans, we are now on a bus. <laughs> so we are heading to Pamble Station now, we believe. And um, the train that we thought we were getting just doesn't run, run on a None of the trains actually ran through that station, they all stopped. So everybody yeah. is queuing to get this bus right now. So we think this should only take maybe like 15 or 20 minutes, we'll wait and see. But it's going to be a fun day out. <laughs> Oh, big jump. Okay, we have made it to Pamville Station. Bus was a bit rocky, I'm not gonna lie, and it took a lot longer than we thought. It was like 45 minutes long. But we're here, we're gonna go try now and hopefully get train tickets to Goa. It's like nearly half 12, one o'clock during the day. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's go find out. Yeah. Other side? So we think we're getting sorted. Owen is away back to the ticket counter now. Yeah. The woman at the counter gave us two different options. So we've come back, we've filled in the sheet, and I think we're gonna be getting a 
three AC sleeper train the whole way to Goa, I think. <laughs> but anyway, we've got that train, that class before, and it's actually really comfortable. It comes with a pillow, it comes with a blanket, and it's going in three hours. So we are absolutely starving. We didn't get any breakfast this morning because we were just like, get to the station, get all this sorted. Every station we have been at until now has had a full like canteen food court area inside. And of course the one that we are relying on getting some food doesn't. But we have plenty of time so we're going to head out after Owen gets the tickets booked and try and find some food before we have to make our way back and catch our train. Okay, we've had a slight change of plans. <laughs> Whenever you're booking a train here in India and reserving like a seat or a class or whatever, you have to fill out a wee bit of paper and give it over with all the information on it. And by the time it took me to fill out the bit of paper and get back up into the queue, the seats we were trying to buy were sold out and the whole train was completely booked out and the train after that was completely booked out as well. So we were having a wee panic moment, but I went up to another counter and it turns out there's a train leaving at 25 past four, which is only a few hours away really. Um, and there was no seats in it left either, but there was general class on the train. And general class is basically just where you buy a ticket and you don't actually have a seat or a reservation at all. You just have like an area on the train, I suppose. We've done a few general class trains before being here in India. Some of them have been pretty calm and mellow. Some of them have been crazy. If you've seen our video from our train going from Delhi to Holi, you'll know what I'm talking about. It was insane. We'll actually link it up here so you can see it. It was crazy. So I really, really hope the train's not like that this time around because it's going to be like a nine hour journey the whole way to Goa. We're going to arrive roughly around 1 a.m. So it's going to be a long, long haul. But we've got a ticket. That's the main thing. We are going today, but we are starving. So let's go find some food now. We'll see you later, Panville. Panville! Panville! <laughs> see you in a few hours. We're going for food. Hello. Hiya. Hello. How do you feel about this? Yeah, it looks, looks good. good. Okay, so our food has just come down to us. We've got a bit of a feast here. I have ordered a full chicken tally and it is pretty massive. Check that out. We have some japati, some plain rice, some chicken curry, and then also like a side of chicken as well. Why? I don't know. I've never had a side of chicken on a chicken tally, but we've got it. It has also come with this mad, like, pink juice stuff. And he told me to put it in the curry, but to be honest with you, I dipped my like, finger in it, and I don't think I like the taste of it. I have no idea what it is, so I don't think I'm just gonna, like, put it to the side and avoid it. If you do know what it is, please let us know in the comments below, because we've never seen this before. Ashley got herself a chicken fried rice and some crispy, ch crispy chicken as well, but hers came down quite a wee bit before mine, so we've both kind of already at hers, so we're going to tuck into this now, but this is going to be hopefully enough to fill us up for the train and keep us going for this long, long journey ahead. <laughs> and we're back again! Back to the train station, full, fed and happy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we have found our platform and we have found where we have to stand and wait for the train for general class. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a wee bit nervous. We were chatting to a guy earlier on who told us that this specific route and the general class train journey is horrible. He done it a wee while ago and he said it's just a terrible, terrible journey. So I don't know how this is gonna go. There's a lot of people around here too and we know there's only two general class cars. So if they're pretty packed out, that means we don't get a, don't get a seat and we could be squashed in. So it could be an even longer journey than we were expecting it to be. But we're going to have to wait and see. The train's due in one minute, so I suppose we'll get our answer very soon. Please give us a seat. No, I can see a few gaps. Move on. So as you can see, general class is not quite this way as hope. We do not have a seat and the carriage we're in is pretty packed out. The next stop is in an hour and a half I think it is. So I'm just hoping and praying that some people get off and we can nab into, if not a seat, we corner and just get comfortable on the floor at least. <laughs> I'm 
Awesome. I'm all good, that's nice. Puff rice. Nuts, Puff rice, onion, onions, nuts. tomatoes. I have no idea what the yellow stuff is. Though. Sauce. So a nice man tapped me on my back and said, like kind of pointed at his seat and he got up and gave me his seat. And then like maybe like 10, 15 minutes later, a wee boy did the same for Owen. So we're both sitting now. <laughs> it's no pillows and blankets and the three SA, but they're seats. <laughs> and now because we're at this level as well, we can see out the window and the views are stunning. It's bumpy though, it is rocky. <laughs> Okay, we have made our first stop. A few people got off, not too many. Not too many seats are freed up. We're still separated. The people's coming on nice and stuff, so maybe get a few snacks, another bottle of water. We'll wait Let's have some chai. Oh, happy day. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we have now been on the train for roughly about five hours. We're stopping at another station here now. There's more people getting on to sell stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a bit of a tiring journey to be honest with you. We have finally just got to sit beside each other at the window, which we are so so happy about. We have like another what like four hours maybe maybe even a wee bit more five hours maybe until we get to our destination oh man that's so loud <laughs> see whenever you stop at a station it's just pure chaos of people selling stuff like that i might even buy something now i'm getting a bit hungry <laughs> I feel like I'm at an auction. It's chaos, it's like being in an auction house. <laughs> we got some more chai and we got some food. I got this. Oh, we got chai out the window. <laughs> what is it? What have we got? I have no idea, but it is hot. Is it warm? I'm guessing you make a, bur a burger out of this. Maybe? Oh, it's like a hot thing. I've seen pictures of this, but I can't yeah. remember what the dish is called. Oh, wow. Is it like tiki? No. I checked the inside of like a samosa. Oh. It's nearly like potato y. With like curries, curry spices and stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Stuck into that? Not bad. <laughs> So we've been on the train now for like five hours and we're getting pretty tired. The train is however like slowly not packing up the other the opposite. Empty night. Empty night. <laughs> the train is empty night, so we've got a seat beside each other. So hopefully we can get over to sleep. Um, but I think this is gonna be a long night. Okay, so I decided to walk on to the Lubbock and Lubbock baggage Lubbock rack. <laughs> Oh, la, 
God, we have arrived. <laughs> that is a long journey. It is now 2 a.m. We have made it to Magon Station in Goa, which still isn't our final destination. It is for tonight anyway. Yeah, we are not gonna make anything harder than it already is. And no. we have decided to stay in a hostel that is walking Very distance close. from the station here. Yeah, but we booked it on the train there. It's the only train, like a 10 minute walk. Yeah. So we're hoping we can get in at this time of the night. Fingers crossed. But yeah. the train itself actually wasn't too bad, like at all. No, to be honest, with you, it's grand. We've done quite a few of the general class now, and they're they're all right. Once you get a seat, no, they're not too That's bad it. at all. Yeah, I think it's and we the, meet some lovely people we, on them. We've met some amazing yeah. people, but it's the unknown. You don't know how many people are going to ram yeah. into it. But we got don't good know if you're tonight. Getting a seat. You don't know what yeah. the crowd is. But, <laughs> but yeah. let's go find our hostel. Yeah, hopefully we can get in. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Give us a bed. <laughs> Well, they have lights on. That's a good thing. A good start. We have found our accommodation. We are sweating. It is so warm walking with all these bags. We put jackets on too. But they have lights on at the accommodation, so that's positive. Oh, hello. hello. Thank you. Yes. Okay, we have got into our hostel. Success, thank oh, God. The man was sleeping here. Oh, my God. We got up, checked us in. And he's making up our beds now. I'm so happy, thank God. What a bloody day it was. It was long, but we got here. The train wasn't as bad as what it no. could have been. And it was an adventure and a half. We really hope you enjoyed coming along with us. And hopefully you will continue to join along on our adventures. We are buzzing to be here in Goa. And well, we, we have so much to explore. Yeah. Yes. Bedtime. It's so bedtime. for now, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>